Welcome back. Thanks so much for joining us. We're talking with Daryl Hall and David Hill, and they're with the Oz uh, o Ozark Ohio Valley Refinery and Roadshow. Welcome to the show, guys. Hi, guys. Are you Good to you be guys here. hail out of Tennessee? No, actually, the company is out of Springfield, Illinois. Illinois, okay. okay. Yeah. We live in North Mississippi. Well, We're I know just you're one so of the far groups. away yes. from the Ohio Valley, it's not even close, right? Exactly. Right. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it is part of the Ohio Valley. We work directly through THR Associates. Now, for, you were telling us earlier that you're associated with how many companies? There's actually about six different companies right now that's part of Treasure Hunters Roadshow or THR Associates. Mm -hmm. okay. And basically, what do they do? We actually buy antiques. Guns, knives, swords, gold, jewelry. Now you, you go. Toys. To, do you set up events like? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Nothing. Is there nothing that is off limits? No. Wow. If, it's not about anything. We just can't buy everything. Hold your mic up there, please. If you don't mind. It's not about anything. We just can't buy everything. Yeah. Okay. We're not about about anything. So, so how, how do you, how do you set it up? You don't go to to yard sales and things like <laughs> no, that. No. Actually, we go to different centers, such as at the Durant Center uh -huh. here this week. But we'll be at civic centers. We just were in San Antonio, Houston. Dallas, we had what they call mega shows where they actually have 10, 12 buyers and there'll be hundreds of people come to those mm -hmm. events. Wow. And they bring their items in. We actually, we don't appraise, but we tell them what we can pay for it. And we okay. write the check right there on the spot. So that's a, okay. it's basically your appraisal or your appraisal. Yeah. Actually, we have about several, several hundred collectors throughout the world or United States. Mm -hmm. And it's different items they look for and we just go directly into our database and we have people there that can actually tell us you know if we don't know about an item they can tell us what it's worth so wow. so you have to be fairly knowledge, knowledgeable about a, a, and how a, do you, various different things how do you things. acquire that knowledge we have training courses classes and it's a never-ending process well, it's, it's some, daily we can send a picture you know with today's technology to our people in springfield and they can, and they, can, they can help us on that. So, so if it's an item that you're not too sure about, you, you're, you're in contact immediately with someone else? Sure. And we say, actually a, take a picture uh -huh. right there. Oh, mm -hmm. It's cool. right through the Internet. We send the pictures, everything right there. They are looking at it. And in the future, we're actually going to have cameras directly in the room at all time. They can actually directly look at that item right there and tell us yes. Wow, that's neat. Yeah. Yeah. We buy a lot of vintage guitars also, guys, and that's been a great, great what are some of the us. top things that you have? Well, been? naturally, gold and silver. All, all your precious, all precious stones, jewelry and mm -hmm. stuff like that is just great. But uh, guitars, antiques of all different types. We try to stay away from furniture because of the shipping process. Yeah, right. However, right. we did buy Johnny Cash's bed a few months ago. Oh, well, that'd oh, be I something you'd too. want to buy. <laughs> uh, David, would you mind? Uh, you did bring a guitar. Yeah, and I'd like to see that. What what uh, what model is this? You got to hold that in the mic. I'm thinking to try it. <laughs> this is a Gretsch by Chet Atkins. Uh, oh, yeah. Chet signed a lot of these. Uh, you know, he started Gretsch out. They got him to do a contract way back there. So, I mean, that really what started mm -hmm. Gretsch's. What year is this one? It looks like it's from the 50s or 60s. Actually, it's in the, in the late 60s. Late 60s, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And what kind of price <coughs> did that, would it bring? That one runs around eighteen hundred, eighteen hundred fifty dollars, mm -hmm. and of course, we didn't. I think we paid eleven or twelve hundred for that mm -hmm. one. But that's mm -hmm. if it was in great shape to a collector, that's what they would actually mm -hmm. be willing to pay for. Something. Biggest, biggest check I've ever wrote was for a guitar. We've ever wrote that I've ever really. Wrote. What was that? How much? Twelve grand for a wow. Fender Telecaster. Wow. For yeah, I had actually give three hundred fifty-two dollars for it back in. Oh, he made a profit on that one, and, so, and you had a buyer waiting for for that too. I'm sure. Of course. Yeah, that's okay. Nice. Then you get these items, and then what? We actually carry them to the warehouse, and they. It's some shows they actually pick them up and carry them directly to the warehouse or to wherever they're going. Uh, for example, we was in Dallas, and they picked a group up that went directly to Houston because they were having a guitar show there, and we had bought some nice '50s, '60s Gibsons, Fenders. Mm -hmm. They were real nice guitars. But what's mm -hmm. the end result with things? As far as, I mean, you care them to they, shows? They, they okay. actually buy them. Okay. We sell them to these collectors. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably the most, uh, we have paid as much as 100000 for a guitar. Not us. He's talking about when he was in, we were actually in Lufkin. Lufkin, Texas. Mm-hmm. A gentleman mm -hmm. came in there and he bought it brand new and it was three hundred and three dollars. Oh, I said oh my gosh! Yeah. And he'd had it all these years, but he knew exactly what it was worth. Uh -huh. He said, "This is what I want," mm -hmm. <laughs> but we didn't realize we knew we didn't know at the time with a guitar. 
but the guitar actually was worth 33000 But we didn't know. And he told me what he wanted for it, or he actually told David. Wow. We, didn't, we didn't know. I sent a picture to my guy in Springfield. And, and they said, write him a check. And I told him what they want, he wanted for it, and as soon as they got the picture and, and the serial numbers, they said, write him a check. Write him a check. Wow. wow that was neat. It's a pretty neat deal. So that works out for both parties. Mm -hmm. Sure. And for people that are watching the show, uh, what are some of the items that they need? They don't need to bring down their... their Garage sale items. No. What do they no. need to be looking no. for? What, what stuff, should they like be? your older t tin toys, your older mechanical banks, you know, back okay. in the 20s, mechanical the 30s. Mechanical banks are right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A unique item we bought actually in Houston. A lady had bought a new Toyota car mm -hmm. in the 60s, early 70s. Uh, what, $3,000 for the car? Mm -hmm. Well, she put her entered the name in a drawing actually to the dealership and she won the drawing. Mm -hmm. And they presented her with approximately a four inch, maybe four and a half, mm -hmm. little gold replica of car. Like and a little ma matchbox size yeah, car? Just yeah. happened to be a 14 karat gold car. 14, wow. Sorry, no. We <laughs> paid her $10,000 for her car, oh little gosh. car. Wow. The replica, little bit thing. But uh, it was, that was a pretty neat deal. No doubt. Yeah, she kept it all these years. Told how many miles she'd driven the car, and I forgot those. But it was a <laughs> it was a good story. Mm -hmm. It was a good that's story. Neat. That's neat. But there's something else you do, and, and that's gold, right? We buy a lot of gold. Do we do? And mm -hmm. uh, of course, sending that directly to the refineries, mm -hmm. or if it's not great gold, where we can actually resell or something like that. Mm -hmm. But we buy a lot of gold and old pocket watches, mm -hmm. such as so. LG so if it's not of much value, you will you'll take it for the gold. Sure. Is that right? Okay. Sure. A lot of old pocket watches, that say Hamilton, Elgin, Ball, Illinois, uh, those were the great pocket watches. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, a lot of those were gold. And even though those watches haven't worked in years, some of those watches bring three, seven, nine hundred dollars mm -hmm. and uh, depending on the weight. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a great item. A lot now, of old you, people. How do you check the gold for Actually, for we have most of it marked. Or? But after you've been around it a while, yeah. you don't have to. You can tell by feel and mm -hmm. the kind way it way it works. And uh, of course, we have test kits if necessary. We can test it. But most of the time, if you've ever opened a real gold watch, you can tell. You really you know. It's got that gold feel. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. And you, people think, well, it wouldn't. But oh, it go does. ahead. But I want to know what else is on. Okay. Actually, that we we she brought. Was trying to peek in there while ago. We brought. <laughs> yeah, it was. These are actually replicas of different type coins. Uh -huh. These are just coarse. Necklaces, okay. and these are the coins actually that most people such represent oh, all of our gold around. coins today. I'll hold this. And, uh, and the, these are known to most of these as St. Gaudens. Okay. Some of these coins is worth more. Is It has a, a not only the gold content, but the numismatic value is a lot, uh, lot more as the a coin. What value? I'm sorry. It's, uh, I, I never pronounce that word just right. <laughs> <laughs> but the content of the gold is not okay. only good, but also the coin value makes it even better. Certain okay. dates are worth more and, than just the key, gold value right. the coin. You know, okay. it's rare, sure. rare dates. American. And it's what we call key dates. Key dates is nothing but the years they didn't make as many. Therefore, okay. they're worth more as worth more. And that's just a pretty little necklace. You do a lot of the, you see a lot of... I Just understand. <laughs> but, but these are some of the items that you might yes, find. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. it is. And, okay. Uh, but we, actually, this company was founded on t t a uh, antique toys, tin toys. Really? Tin toys. Yeah, the old metal toys, yes. Yeah. Well, I was kind of thinking, you know, if you had, like, even earrings that were something special yeah, or yeah. something and lost them, then this is a good if way you, to... Every woman's got one earring. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you Several. The other one's gone. Yeah, you'll take just one earring. We you buy one earring. Yeah, Things mix and like match. Yeah. And it's, yeah, hey, gold's been at an all-time high. You know, it fell a little bit last week, but right now it's it's back mm -hmm. up higher than we ever thought it would be mm -hmm. back in the 60s when it was 30 and 40. Mm -hmm. When you get up $1,400 an ounce, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. But the characteristics of jewelry is 10 carat, 14, 18, of course 22 up to 24. And it, it depends on what characteristic which makes it bring more money. Right. And the value because the gold content is more in those items. Mm -hmm. Sure is. <laughs> so okay. any other items that, that you might be looking for? Maybe, maybe from the Ozarks area. Is there anything that's... Uh, we used to, and we still do. We buy any a lot of the... Old, uh, Guns, knives, swords, mm -hmm. militaries, but those that was back in before 1899 is what we can actually buy today. 
till a few weeks ago we were buying able to buy everything, but the way the laws has changed, okay. and right now we're redoing the license so that we can actually go back to buying uh, any type weapon. And we bought those for resale, of course, mm -hmm. but. We bought those everywhere. We bought all but kinds of But you can't, of, 18 dollars or That is, yes. And wow. what that is, that's no gunpowder mm -hmm. guns, mm -hmm. uh, Civil War guns, French Wars. We buy a lot of those. Mm -hmm. People yeah. wouldn't believe how many's out there. I bet you, along with the items that you see at these shows, you get a story behind it, don't you? And a lot of fun sometimes. <laughs> I bet you do. I'm sure, too, if people, if you make an offer and someone doesn't want to accept it, they're not obligated they're to They're not obligated on it in no, no way. Mm -hmm. We're just you're not, you're not here to insult them. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, you know, if people, well, look, we put a million two hundred thousand dollars a week back in circulation as a company. Mm -hmm. That's what we spent. So it's a pretty good payroll for some people. It's a lot of money. Right. Well, let's tell people where you're going to be. You're, you're going to be at the Duran Center, is that right? That's correct. And we're going to be there from 9 to 6 today and tomorrow and 9 to 4 on Saturday. Okay. okay. Sure. So you're going to take the Friday off? or No. Or is it tomorrow is Friday. I, I thought he said today. Today. Oh, today and tomorrow. I'm sorry. So it's a mm -hmm. three-day event. I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. We'll be here the rest of the week. <laughs> okay. We'll be here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <laughs> so gather up your items. and Make sure you come down. down. Yeah. We'll have fun. Okay. Well, we appreciate you, got you some coming. Some great by. people and good buyers. Okay. Is this the only crew that you've got? Or you, no, you the other three are working. Okay. Oh, they're okay. they're down there setting everything up. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are they're on your coffee break. Right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. We just well, came to see you. Well, we appreciate right. you coming Thank by, you. and uh, this is a, a, might be an opportunity for a lot of people that that had that heirloom or that item that they don't even know what it's worth, and maybe they're in need of money, or mm -hmm. it's about time for them to 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 sell it and put it back out in the marketplace, as you say. You bet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we certainly appreciate y'all having us. Thank today. you very well, thank much you. for being here. All right, that's David Hall and, and David Hill from the... Daryl Hall. Daryl Hall and David, David Hill, Hill from the Ohio Valley Refinery and Roadshow. They're coming uh, today, tomorrow, and Saturday at the Duran Center from 9 to... How late did you stay open again? 4 on Saturday Four? and 9 to 6 through the week. 9 to okay. 6, okay. All right. Go down and see them if you have an item that you would like uh, to know the value of, and maybe you'll get a check right there on the spot. And who knows? You may have, you may have a hot item that's going to bring you lots of money. It has happened. Okay. And that's a lot of fun when that happens. I bet, that's I bet right. it does. Yes. Do you shake when you write that check? <laughs> actually, actually, it's a lot of fun. If we leave pennies, I've written checks for three, four, five hundred dollars for some of those. For pennies? Wheat leaf pennies. They're oh, we wow. buy everything from wheat leaf pennies to gold bullion. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Key, Key dates, is. they're great. Other than that, they're still two cents a piece. Well, you guys so we are, double your money. We double you guys right. are knowledgeable, and if you want somebody that knows all about it, then these, these guys are the ones to see. Again, that's today, tomorrow, and Saturday at the Duran Center. Go down and see them. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate right. you having us. Up next, we have Amy Artman from the Boone County Library, and she's going to be talking about a lot of things going on over there. Thank you very much. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this.